My name is Judith Matrani Reiser. I'm the lead investigator for the National Institute of Standards and Technologies National Construction Safety Team investigation into the 2021 partial collapse of the Champlain Tower South building in Surfside, Florida. And I am Glenn Bell, the associate lead of NIST's investigation of the Champlain Tower South collapse. Today, we're sharing a very comprehensive new technical update. Our team has identified more than two dozen possible initiating events for the building failure in the pool deck and the tower. Our work to date shows that even absent any sudden overload or other obvious trigger of a failure, there were low margins against failure in parts of the CTS pool deck structure at the time of collapse. While there is strong evidence that the collapse initiated in the pool deck, we have not ruled out a failure initiation in the tower. It's possible that there was some initiating event in the tower that could have set off the collapse of the very vulnerable pool deck. In this update, we walk you through three possible events that have a low likelihood of having initiated the partial collapse of Champlain Tower South, and three that have a higher likelihood based on the evidence and our analysis and testing. In this update, we share new details from recently completed technical work, such as our full-scale laboratory testing and our video calibration and forensic audio analysis, which we use to timestamp audio and digital evidence. We updated our collapse timeline based on this audio and digital evidence, as well as new interviews, records, and updated modeling results. Our team is on schedule to complete the evaluation of failure hypothesis this fiscal year and to disseminate findings and recommendations next year. So please check out our full update at www.nist.gov Champlain, or you can click the link in the description.